Not too many people would argue that recreation is the moderator of our everyday life, doing something we enjoy to take us away from the daily grind. Yet to some, it's the extension of what they do or who they are. Chris Blackwell has a demanding job in the front lines of law enforcement, facing danger every day. But to Chris, pushing the envelope is just another way to relax with family and friends. hot rods and uh, just been a backyard mechanic and uh, been watching the races out at the racetrack, had some friends that were doing it, everybody seems to be having a good time so I figured we'd try to have a good time. <laughs> we're getting to the point to where we don't really have the technical knowledge to, to take a lot of the wiring out. The, the car's got a lot of computer components that we don't know what they do so rather than, than educate ourselves the hard way we're just going to leave them alone. Uh, right now, building a car has been as much fun as driving. We don't have a clue if we're going to go out and even be closely uh, competitive. We don't, we don't have any idea what we're doing. We've never built a race car. We're just just trying things and see what works, see what doesn't work. And as long as we have fun along the way, then it's all worth it. Hey guys. Yeah, we still have vacuum leaks under the dash too. I'm a police officer, so I drive all day, so it shouldn't be too much different. But it's gonna be going around in circles with people right next to you. Uh, we we get uh, specialized training. I, I mean, I definitely know how to drive a car, but I, I don't know how. I don't have a, I, any idea how it's gonna translate into uh, circle track racing. I guess we'll find out. They have rules that you have to have a four point cage, so it attaches at four different points on the frame. Um, some of the other classes, they have six points or whatever. And we need three door bars for the driver. So that if somebody drives into the side of them, it doesn't come through the car and hurt them. Three of them are mine. This is my adopted son. I'm Michael, Scott's friend. I just built the, the door bar, the top door bar, which bring it out a little bit so there's more room for the driver. Uh, we cut the angle cut piece so that it'll fit tight around the pipe. I think this is great. Look at all these kids playing together. Everybody's playing nice. This works good. We're trying to mount the seat right now. What's involved in doing that? I don't know. We're learning as we go. I think that he is loving this. But I do feel a bit like a widow. So he's got some making up to do. <laughs> Well, it's a, a racing seat, and we're trying to keep it as low as we can, keep the center of gravity down low. We can move some pedals and just drive the car. As long as everybody has fun, and, and it's been a great way to get the family together. Everybody, all the kids, everybody's been pitching in, tearing stuff apart, and putting it back together. And to get the whole family out here, and everybody has a good time, friends, it's all worth it. How do you think you'll go in this? Things are running real good the way it looks so far. I think it's this package here. The three Musketeers. <laughs> uh, no, we were an idiot. <laughs> Nobody's uh, getting upset with one another. And, uh, the quality work. And, uh, and this, the working area helps a lot. You've got the tools and everything out of the hot sun. I think it'll be fun for the whole family to go out there and enjoy. They've all spent a long time working on the car, getting it ready. And it'll be fun to watch Chris go around the track.
give it a shot. We're going to go practice and see if there's anything wrong with the car, anything obviously wrong with the car. And give me some track time and we'll have fun. You gotta get Scotty for me to do it. Oh. Let's just take the car off and we'll go we'll, uh, up. There's no spot on the ground. Yeah, we'll just park the car here. I think we'll do fine going through tech. Um, yeah, when it's time to get out to race, I'm gonna be really nervous. But uh, it's fun. If it wasn't, wasn't a little nerve wracking, everybody would be out here doing it, I guess. Good to bring it back by and you just put it in the That's right, good. Yeah. It's factory spot. There's a police car. Yeah. Speeding in the pits, not, uh, can't do it. Most of you guys know, everybody's looking pretty good. It's still five mile an hour, we still got the sign back there. And listen, the wind hadn't blown it down again. And then uh, drinking in the pits, you know that, none, no drinking till after the last car's done, okay? All right, everybody understand that. Chris, how do you feel? Went out there in about the second or third lap, I just flat lost it. It went out from under me. I was fine, I was happy I didn't get hit, I didn't hit the wall, so didn't tear up anybody else's car, my car, and taking it. We had definitely got some handling issues we gotta address, but. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was nerve wracking. I feel good, it's fun again. It wasn't so fun 10 minutes ago, but now it's fun again. We're going to do that, Dave, right? Yeah. We're going to give you all the money. Okay? The all the money. Yeah, all $10. We got it. I got a bunch in my back pocket. I guess I'm in my shirt. Want to jump out? He's going to stay in there.
gets the whole family out here, everybody has a good time, friends, it's all worth it.